That is a boat. That's a sunken boat right there. Hold on. All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to another one. Uh, I got a comment on the last video I did, which was the how to use side imaging in shallow water and why it still is very usable in shallow water. That comment was, where do I find these crappie this time of year? Um, speaking of, it's late October. This time frame is gonna be like mid to late October until basically mid-December. Um, for most of the part of the country, the crappie are gonna be kind of in the same area this time of year. And that's gonna be on your deeper drop-offs. On our natural lakes up north, we have something that is the hard to soft bottom transition. We actually have it on the river today. I'm gonna to show you on the river here too. Um, but it's most prevalent and these crappies school up the most on our lakes on this hard to soft bottom transition area. Um, the one thing that I'd highly recommend using is charts. So I have Garmin units which come with Navionics. Navionics is pretty cool because the Navionics.com website actually has a free chart viewer where you can actually look and scout lakes. Um, but the cool thing about these charts is the, the depth shading. Now I actually got one tr turned on here. If you go to layers, go to, I think it's water and depth shading. So I'm gonna turn this off real quick and it'll go away. But typically you're gonna find where these crappies stack up in that 15 to 22, 23 feet of water. Um, our northern lakes that get a little bit deeper, you're probably going to see this transition line happen where it's a hard to soft bottom transition in, in a little bit deeper water, 20 to 25 foot. If you're in like southern Minnesota where you get more of the flatter lakes that are only like 15 foot deep, this probably can happen in like 10 to 15 feet of water. Um, so just adjust it based on your geographic location. But basically all this is, is this sand, gravel, rock, transitioning from the shoreline into mud muck and silt and this happens 15 to 22 23 feet so when we turn on our depth shading here that is what I'm going to do now I've already got it selected but basically I just changed my minimum depth to 15 and my maximum depth to 23 feet I made it this green color and that's what I'm seeing here it's a very narrow band right now because we're on the super steep drop off um, of basically the the current or the the main channel just and just drops real quick right here so this section of water where it's 15 to 23 feet is pretty narrow and typically when i'm in the fall if i'm on a new body of water or place that i haven't been to in a while i'm just going to idle down this section this 15 to 22 23 feet and i'm going to use side imaging so let's go to your side imaging screen here and what i'm looking for is this hard to soft bottom transition now, it's actually, you can see it right here. It's not clear as day, but on the right side of my screen, it's a very bright return. That's the starboard side of the boat, super bright return. On the left side, you can see it starts a little bright, but then it fades to this darker gold color. I got a gold palette that I use for side imaging. That's that soft, or the soft color is that uh, soft mud, muck, and silt. The bright color is that rock, sand, gravel. And I'm looking for pieces of cover on this drop off, this little transition here. Because if we can find a piece of cover, odds are pretty good, we can find a pile of crappie on it. Um, water temps, 48 degrees right now. Uh, today's actually a beautiful day. It's like 60 degrees and it's, what is it? Eight, almost nine o'clock in the morning. Uh, we've had a stretch of cold weather for the last two weeks, getting down into the 20s during the nighttime. And it's really cooled down these water temps. So, so these crappie are gonna school up here probably until like mid-December, you know, that first stage of ice fishing up north, uh, you're gonna be able to find crappie right on the weed edges, which typically is this hard to soft bottom transition area on our natural lakes up north. Uh, they're gonna stay there probably to the first couple weeks of ice season. And then after that, they'll push out to their basins, these mud flat basins. There's a big log right there. Is there any fish on that? No, nope. what am I doing? Zoom. There, I don't know, it doesn't look like there's much. There might be some fish there. It's right on the break too. That could be a spot we circle back to. But this is all I'm looking for, pieces of cover. Uh, oftentimes we'll just suspend out in open water and you'll just see a big school of fish. Typically on the river they don't do that. They like to find pieces of cover they can hide behind because it hides them from the current. They don't have to swim right into the current as much. Um, there's some fish suspended up in the water column right here. Those don't look like crappie though. 
Uh, but yeah, this is all I'm going to do. And this is how I find them this time of year is just use your chart, use that shading, that color shading, 15, 22, 23 feet. If you're on a reservoir system, let's say Lake Fork, you, some of you guys that live in the south or part of the Tennessee River chain, um, you'll have creek channels. And let's see if I can, well, I mean, this is basically looking like the edge of a creek channel. If you just imagine that the right side of my screen is that shallow depth and that real tight contours where they bunch together, that's that steep slope uh, dropping into the main river channel. Now, if, let's say just to the left of my, of my boat here, it got tight again and went back up, that would be the river channel or the creek channel that you guys fish in a lot of reservoir systems. And I would be finding the edges of those creek channels because if you can find creek channels that are in, let's say, it depends if there's a lot of current. If there's a lot of current, you're probably searching like 10, 15 feet of water and you can find vertical timber or any type of lay down, crappie are gonna be there. If there's not a lot of current in that, that area, meaning there's not a lot of oxygen for them, or, and there's probably not a lot of bait fish. You're probably looking 15 to 20, maybe a little bit deeper. So here's some fish stacked up. Yeah, don't show the waypoints, that's not good. So here's some fish that potentially, I mean, these are some bigger fish, but right here are some fish that could be some crappie just suspended up in the middle of the water column. We're in a right, about the right depth, 22, 23 feet of water, a little bit deeper. Um, and then there's a ton of cover on both sides over here. And here we go, we got another piece of cover coming up. I don't even think I have a waypoint for that one. I'll throw a waypoint on there. There might be some fish on that. Is that a boat? That is a boat. That's a sunken boat right there. Hold on. Pause that. I'll have to blur out the waypoint. But that right there is a sunken boat. We're gonna fish that. Yeah, that's what we're gonna fish. Cause I, I guarantee there's gonna be fish on it. I think it was in about 20 feet of water. And yeah, there's gotta be some fish on that thing. That is a sunken boat, look at that. The bow of the boat's on the right side, stern on the left, that's a sunken boat. All right, let's fish that, yeah. So this is all I'm looking for. Now, you're not always gonna find a boat, but you're just looking for pieces of cover on this hard soft bottom transition, use your charts. Let's get up on the bow and start vertical jigging this. That's a cool thing about this time of year. You're in 20 feet of water, you can get right over the top of these crappie. I hope I got that. I think I was a smallmouth. I don't know what it was, I didn't see it. But you can get right over the top of these crappie and vertical jig for them. So the person that commented where you find these crappie, this is how I find them this time of year. Let's get on the bow of the boat and start catching them. All right, there is the, the boat. It looks pretty corroded. But there it is. There's fish above it. There's some big fish above it. We'll see if we can pull a crappie or two off here. Hopefully there's some big crappie. Oh man, one's coming up. What are they? They're biting it. I don't know what those were, way up top. Oh, there he is. I don't know what that is. Is that a crappie way up top? Yes, it is. Wow, they're suspended way off the bottom. He's not a big guy, but there is a crappie and they're aggressive today. But this is where you're gonna find them. If they're suspended really high up in the water column like that guy was, he's, he's gonna go back and see what. They're gonna be chasing after bait fish, shad, shiners. Um, so that's why I'm throwing a bait fish pattern right now. This is the crappie monster uh, margarita small fry. You can get 20% off Crop Monster. CropMonster.com. Promo code Davis, D A V I S, all capital letters, 20% off. Um, if I was going for more fish on the bottom, I'm going to throw a creature bait like this. And I got another video talking about creature baits like this. Uh, these look more like insect larvae, you know, that these fish are going to be feeding off of off the bottom. You can throw a drop shot or a double jig setup with those. Works really well. Wow, that's a, that's a good crappie. Holy smokes, that's a good crappie. Oh. Oh. These are the type of crappie you can catch in the fall. All right, we're having recording issues, but hopefully I got the catch on camera. If not, there's a 12 inch. 
12 inch stud of a crappie right there. But that guy was sitting right on that sunk, sunk submerged boat. We're gonna, we're gonna throw him back. Uh, see you, buddy. And he took off. That is a big crappie. Holy smokes! They're feeding up this time of year on these bait fish. That's where I got the bait fish pattern. Thank goodness for the net too. As soon as I pulled that crappie up and got any type of slack line, that jig just popped right out. So this is all I'm going to continue to do throughout the rest of the fall and into December. Just idle along this break line or the hard to soft bottom transition on our natural lakes. Try to find these schools of crappie. If you can find pieces of cover, those crappie are going to be holding to them. You can't always find a sunken boat, but that's pretty cool. Appreciate you watching as always. If you got any comments or questions, post them in the comment section below, or you can message me on either Facebook or Instagram. Good luck on the water this fall. We'll see you in the next one.